Hey, good morning, how do you do? And we've got some things special for you. It's just for fun, it's just for kids. It's time for the Sydney Touching. All right, number six, what a cute bikini. Here it is. Oh, Except it's yes. not a bikini. What? Uh -oh. It's a sweet bikini. Swikini? Swikini. Oh, I see. It's, see, got it's a, a swimsuit flesh -colored designed spank. to look. It's flesh color in the middle, so it looks oh. like a bikini. Yeah. And it covers up the midriff if you've got some, you know, imperfections you want yeah. to smooth out, like yeah. most of us do. Yeah. yeah. The designer is a mom of three with no previous experience in fashion, ah. so she's working to get her swikini in store soon. Go. And she sure. wants to make it available in a variety of skin tones and ah. just so. People can feel comfortable yeah. because the hey, look. I have no problem. I've been wearing, I've been rocking a one piece yeah. since I was three right. years old. I'll say it loud and say it proud. Yeah. I'm I, not wearing a bikini. I can think of an alternative to that, but <laughs> yeah, far be it from me to suggest what that might be. Right. A couple alternatives. But I think yeah. it's this. I, it, it, there's yeah. people. It's like the, the bikini. alternative is cutting 600 calories and going for a <laughs> yeah, job, yeah. Paul. That's the that's the right. alternative. Yeah, that's one. But. You do you, boo. Yeah. Right. Like you say. Or just a one piece. You're yeah. wearing a one Whatever. piece right yeah. now. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. I've just never, I've always felt like I'm in my underwear if I'm in a bikini. It doesn't, yeah, me I too. can't do it, you know. Yeah, but I hear that's you. Mm -hmm. You do you, boo. Yeah. Just that's like right. Pat says. Mm -hmm. Number five, Razor's new go kart doesn't look very fancy, but don't let that fool you. It's called the Ground Force Rad Rod. And this little machine packs a punch, powered by a motor, can reach speeds up to 10 miles per hour. Ooh. Also got a hand-operated throttle, Ooh. so kids can perform some maneuvers, wow. like drifts, power slides, burnouts. If you're in the know, it's for kids ages six and up. Yeah. And adults, six? as long as you're uh, six and up. Jeez. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and With adults can use them too, but you have to be under 110 pounds. Uh, wow. And plus, look at my knees. How do you get your knees in there? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, not for everyone. No. Look at how much fun he's having, though. Yeah. Oh, wearing his helmet. Yeah. How much does that thing go for? Uh, Did that? Uh, price on there. Yeah. No. It's going up to 10 miles per hour, though. <laughs> uh, at number four, we see lots of videos of tourists doing stupid things like approaching bears at national parks. I can't get enough of those videos because I'm just waiting for the bear to get lost. It's fascinating, right? Uh, you know, they do that at national parks or, or they carve their initials into monuments. Sure. Turns out it's not a new thing. It's these pictures from the last several decades oh show. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the <laughs> only difference is that social media wasn't a thing right. back then. <laughs> yeah. People didn't have phones and they couldn't instantly share videos oh of my pictures gosh. the way they do now. Doesn't mean that people weren't idiots, though. They were. Yeah. People, right. people have been idiots since the dawn of yeah. time. Yeah. It's just yeah. documented more now. Uh, mm. And we're still around. Yeah. Well, right. we don't know if that guy's still yeah. around. Right. Well, or we're that still, guy. We got him outnumbered. We're wow. still smarter than the bears. <laughs> yeah. It's getting close. <laughs> it is. All right, number three, a company in Los Angeles offers people the chance to rent luxury cars. That's nothing special, but Drive LA rents out cars that are owned by famous athletes. So here's how it works. Lots of athletes buy luxury cars, but they can't drive them all the time since they're working. So they rent them out via Drive LA. It's a win-win situation. The company makes a profit, the athletes make a profit, and the customers get the chance to drive a car owned by a famous football player or an NBA star. So uh, isn't that fun? Good for them. Yeah. Make a little extra money for but, them on yeah. the side. Yeah, they need a side hustle. Yeah, that's gonna help them out a lot. Uh, number two, there's a chance you're storing your red meat all uh -oh. wrong. According to refrigeration scientists, mm -hmm. you want to keep your red meat on the bottom shelf. It is the coldest part of the fridge, so it keeps the meat the freshest. It also helps prevent cross-contamination right. with other uh, ready-to-eat foods like fresh fruit, dips, and salads. Mm. If the package leaks, it will not drip over your other items. Mm. So, you bottom know, drawer. I'm going to channel Paul here and just say, you'll be fine. Yes. My mother used to keep ground meat uncovered in the refrigerator. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. We'll be, be all right. right. Yeah. You gotta toughen up, right? Yeah. Are you all right? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be all right. Physically? Yeah, I'm okay yeah, you're physically. Be all right. Okay. Uh, number one, we found an article in Southern Living. It said, Is it rude to leave a party without saying goodbye? No. According to <laughs> etiquette experts, it's very rude. A good guest always takes time to say goodbye and thank the host for inviting them. But lots of people, nobody up here, of course, prefer ghosting a party or the morning show uh, or taking the Irish exit. Thoughts? 
Paul, you do this, speaking this of is, Irish, every St. Patty's Day at yeah. Bourbon Street. It's called the Conrad Shift, where I come from. I don't think it's rude. As long as you make good contact with them at the beginning of the party and say, hey, thanks, it's going to be a busy night. Great to see you. Thanks for having yeah. me. Shake their hand, give them a big hug, and then right to the exit yeah. through the back door of the house oftentimes is the best way <laughs> You know who to agrees do it. with you? Lauren Jiggets. Yeah. yeah. She, doesn't, she doesn't say goodbye a single time. I've, I've been at a social gathering it. for now. Because once. the hosts are busy. They're you go busy. in there and start saying goodbye. Yeah. It starts spreading like bad diarrhea. Then the next guy's like, well, I better <laughs> yeah. say goodbye also. Yeah. Then the party's over. Or worse, more people want to say goodbye to you. Right. And then you're and then, stuck there an extra 25 that's, minutes. That's the other, more importantly, that is. It really depends lesson on learned. the side of the size of the party, though. I mean, right. if it, you, you if know, it's fine, if it's people big are party, less, you yeah, best. you'll leave. But if yeah. it's a big party, don't you just find the host and say, hey, real quick, I don't want to say goodbye no, to everybody. No, I just uh, want to thank you for the great party, and he I'll see you later. That. What are you being a killjoy to them for? <laughs> They're gonna, their feelings are going to be hurt. Just make them mm -hmm. think that you're down in the bathroom or somewhere <laughs> for six hours. I think you just fine. I think you don't, I agree, you don't want to go around the entire party and say goodbye to but 50 thanking people. The host. But thank you. Have you lost knows. any friends this way? So not one. <laughs> not one. And the okay. ones that I have lost. <laughs> they yeah. that many friends I got to tell you, I've, I've learned a lot of things from you in the times I've been here. That is the most valuable lesson I've learned, <laughs> yeah. and it has not come back to yeah. bite me I once. I taught my kids this. As they're getting older, I explain it to them. This is how you get in. This is how you get out. You gotta have a plan. No yeah. one's yeah. thinking about you as much as you think they are. That's exactly right. Exactly. That's the truth. You Maybe you and your big ego <laughs> should do the pun yeah, 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 yeah. Why do right. people come yeah. kiss your ring before they leave? <laughs> <laughs> It's not like you were giving out $1,000 when you showed up at the party. <laughs> if they did that, I'd give them a big hug. They're giving you the 